Thanks, Goose. All right, guys, it's time to batten down the hatches and man the artillery in Redcon. Redcon is a strategy game by indie developer Hexage. You play as a strike commander tasked by the Fuhrer of the Empire State to lead the fight against the traitorous General Krantz. You'll arrange your base with an array of weapons, utilities and defences, and then lay siege to increasingly difficult enemy bases. Success depends on timing your offence whilst balancing your defence. That's right. Fire your missiles at the wrong time and they're all but guaranteed to be destroyed before reaching their target. Neglect to repair your fortress and watch as everything is thrown into chaos. Yeah, you'll also need to control your units during battle. They can fix equipment, put out fires, and increase the output of certain rooms. It's important to protect these little guys because without the ability to fix things, you're a sitting duck. There is a lot to take in. Affirmative. Thankfully though, there is a pause function. This lets you take your time and consider everything before issuing your commands and seeing them play out. It's like an artillery version of FTL. Yes, however, I felt this was less refined. One of the things that makes FTL great is that it's really easy to play but super hard to master. There's a fine line between victory and failure. Redcon fails to strike that balance. Everything feels a bit too messy and there's too much to juggle, so it can become tedious rather than fun. I don't really want to continually pause just to move soldiers back and forth between rooms. Yeah, I know what you mean. Plus, there were some frustrating difficulty spikes. For the first few missions, I could win without really trying. And then all of a sudden I was stuck for ages. But I didn't know what I was doing wrong or what I needed to do differently. I didn't feel like I was learning to play the game, but rather just guessing. Affirmative. This is partly caused by the game not explaining the mechanics clearly. For example, there's no explanation as to how the fortress layouts work. You can't put certain weapons on top of each other, but you're never told why. I'm sure there's a very logical explanation, but the game never offers it. Yeah, that really bugged me, especially when I bought a gun specifically to use, and then to find it didn't fit. And initially, it wasn't clear what the win criteria were. Sometimes I'd think I destroyed everything, but the battle would keep on going. It took me a while to figure out that structural damage is much more important than destroying rooms. I just wish it had been a bit more obvious. Mm. Well, eventually I did start to figure things out and get into a good rhythm, and I enjoyed myself. Spawnling should note that the mobile versions of this game are rated higher than the PC version, so you might want to check with your grown-ups if it's okay for you to play this game before getting it. Uh, but final scores, guys? Well, I think if you're willing to spend a considerable amount of time learning to play this game, then you'll have a pretty good time. But I just found it a bit tedious, so I'm going to give it three out of five rubber chickens. Well, I think you get a lot of gameplay for the price. And I had a pretty good time with this. If you've already played a FTL and you're looking for something similar, then you might want to check this out. I'm giving it three out of five rubber chickens.